Oh my, I mean he has got no right to do that from the edge of the box. Welcome back to the Planet Football YouTube channel guys. If you're not already, make sure to stick around and subscribe for some regular content. We've got three videos a week coming out at the moment and I am absolutely buzzing to jump in to today's reaction where we are going to be checking out one of Mexico's best players of all time, Hugo Sanchez. I've been wanting to do this reaction for quite some time really, I've done a little bit of research into Sanchez in terms of the era when he was playing a few of the clubs that he played for, but in terms of actually watching him, watching his clips and things like that, I've seen barely anything, so this is going to be a completely fresh reaction for me today. As always, if you do go to enjoy, make sure to leave a like and do stick around and subscribe for some regular footballing content. But without any further ado, let's jump into this one and see... Just what Hugo Sanchez has to offer. Obviously, Mexico is such a passionate um, country for football. You see that every time a World Cup rolls around and Mexico are there. And we've not yet checked out any Mexican players on the channel, so I thought that where better to start than Hugo Sanchez? Had his career spanning from throughout the 80s and into the early 90s as well. And generally speaking, that's the sort of time frame where I don't know all too much about the footballers um, around then. You know, we, if we get into early 90s, early 2000s, that's where my general knowledge comes in. But Hugo Sanchez, this is all going to be quite fresh, really. So I'm looking forward to jumping into this one. Over 200 goals for Real Madrid, Atleti as well. Then back in Mexico, what a player he was. Oh, banging free kick straight away into the top bins. Arrows in past the goalkeeper. Oh my god, this is one thing that I have heard about Hugo Sanchez, the sort of athleticism of him actually, so I am expecting to see a few sort of acrobatical goals, because a few of the things that I looked into prior to doing the reaction, it did seem um, like he was quite the player inside the box in terms of the actual goal output you get from him and the quality of the goal scored as well. Look at the technique on that. That is outrageously good. Because he only seems like he has quite a small frame as well. So yeah, situations like this, I'd expect him to be absolutely rapid. Getting in behind, bottom corner, no problem. I mean, the celebrations show the athleticism straight off the bat, don't they, as well. In off the left shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> you can get the athleticism and that shines through immediately from a goal we've seen already and the celebrations to go along with it. Poacher at the far post. <sighs> Does well to keep a lot of them shots low as well. Yeah, it hits that quite interestingly actually. It gets the power behind it, but it doesn't have any sort of back lift. Another one straight there. This guy looks like the king of the overheads and the bicycle kicks, doesn't he? Look at that! Do you know what, as well as the goal output that he probably had throughout his career, I think it is moments like that where you really do fall in love with a player. Like that clip that we saw before, it would have been well easier for him to have just, you know, taken that down and hit it, but he goes for the extravagant and that's just, I don't know, a bit of Mexican flair about it, I suppose. But you can't not love players like this. His personality shines through on the pitch as well, which is something I like. Diving headers. Oh my, I mean, he has got no right to do that from the edge of the box. Free kicks as well. I'm in disbelief at that goal before. 
He's trying to bounce you from the edge of the box. That's ridiculous. Free kick. Seems comfortable off his left and right foot as well. Mostly the left though. Lovely volley there. But if it comes to him on his right, you wouldn't back against him in that situation either. First to react to that sort of situation. <laughs> He's so extra with all the finishes and I absolutely love it. Look at that! <laughs> the celebration to go along with it as well. Oh, the technique on that backwards diving header. You know he's got you. You think that he's overrun the ball in a lot of these situations, but he either arches himself back to get that sort of header where he completely revolves his body around. He seems like the most like unnatural, natural finisher, if that makes any sense of the word. But yeah, certainly gets into those poaching situations as well. Technical ability in terms of the finishing, the volleys, the little flicks and things is... I mean, we'd be blessed to have a player like this in the modern era. <laughs> Ah, oh, you knew it was coming when you set him up at that part of the box. He's not going for a simple finish, is he? Look at that, edge of the box he's scoring diving headers from. Oh, this guy's absolutely nuts, I love him. The celebrations, the hair, the flair, he's got it all, rolled into one. Free kicks, goalkeepers don't even stand a chance. There's no point in them diving. It does make me wonder as well how many people from this region of the world have gone maybe a little bit underappreciated. I think that Sanchez definitely gets those plaudits because he came over to Europe. You know, at Real Madrid he was the striker he was. But those players that do stay in Mexico for the entirety of their careers and other, you know, countries from around that region as well. I think it's definitely an area worth exploring because talent that comes out of it is absolutely next level sometimes and the personalities you get on top of that as well which absolutely shine through on the pitch is just fantastic ah oh, through the legs I imagine this guy just was people's defenders absolute worst nightmare because you show him to an area where he's unlikely to score from, you know, you can even get him on his weaker foot, the ball's going behind him, you think you've got him covered, and he'll just whap out an unbelievable overhead kick like it's absolutely nothing. I think that's a trademark of like legendary players, the ease of which they do things. And Sanchez, I mean he's got that down to a T, hasn't he? The guy's a joke, and I can only imagine what he meant to a nation while he was playing. <laughs> you've got to just love, you've just got to love someone that's got this compilation of goals in terms of the quality, the athleticism. I can't quite think of anyone like him, to be honest, in the modern era that I've grown up with that's quite like Hugo Sanchez in terms of the play style, the goals he was scoring. I mean, that is absolutely next level finishing. I mean, this was unbelievable, wasn't it? 
But yeah, guys, there we have it. That will wrap it up for today's reaction video. Very much enjoyed checking out Hugo Sanchez. If there are any other Mexican players, especially, that you'd like to see me checking out on the channel, get them in the comments down below. Or anyone else for that matter that you would like to see me reacting to on this Legends reaction series we've been doing. But apart from that, guys, thank you very much for tuning in today. Do leave a like if you did enjoy. And do stick around and subscribe for some regular footballing content. Thanks for watching, though, guys.